So right now it is the end of August and we are rapidly approaching the fall. And that means that the Windows 10 end of service is almost upon us. That's coming up on October 14th of 2025. And that means no more security updates or any security fixes, technical assistance, anything like that. That's going to end. But Windows 10 is actually still going to work perfectly fine. I mean, some people still use Windows 7. Now, if you're on a Windows 10 machine and you are looking to upgrade to Windows 11, well, you have to make sure that your current hardware is TPM 2.0 compatible. Now, that is Trusted Platform Module 2.0. It's basically a hardware-based chip that's on your hardware. Uh, and this is kind of a chip that is a security chip that's meant to do all of these kind of security things that Windows needs to do. If you don't have that available, you cannot upgrade to Windows 11. So that's something to really keep in mind. Uh, my older PC that I built uh, like five, six years ago, that's on a Z490 board. That has a TPM 2.0 chip, so I was able to upgrade that to Windows 11. But once you start going to older generations of Intel or AMD CPUs and motherboards, that's where you're going to start running into that TPM 2.0 issue. Now, if you physically cannot upgrade your current hardware to Windows 11, well, the other option is to stop by your local Micro Center and pick up some new hardware. And well, we have plenty to choose from. First and foremost, you can go to the BYO department and pick up your own parts, build your own computer, and we'll even put it together for you in the store at the Knowledge Bar. One cool thing that we have going on right now, you can stop by and you can get a 5080, a PNY 5080 at MSRP, starting at $999. That's actually a really good deal for a really good GPU. So definitely take advantage of that. If you're looking for an already built system like a desktop or a laptop, we have a wide variety to choose from. And I'm gonna walk you through a couple of my favorites. Now over here, I'm gonna start with a couple of laptops and I'll start with general use laptops because there's one that we have this is a really good price and a pretty good laptop. This is an HP Omnibook 5, and this is running on a Qualcomm Snapdragon X Plus processor. So 16 gigabytes of LPDDR5X memory. That's also gonna have that new Qualcomm like ARM processor, one terabyte of SSD storage, a 14 inch 2K OLED panel, and I love OLED. And this is available for $499. That is a crazy good deal. $499 for a laptop like this. This is that sort of all day carry laptop, not really for gaming or anything like that, just general productivity, browsing the web, all of that kind of stuff. But that's a really, really good deal. Now I do use a Microsoft Surface as my all day carry. So for instance, you can get the 15 inch Microsoft Surface that's also running on a Snapdragon X Elite processor. You can get those depending on your configuration anywhere from about $899 to $1,200. This configuration I have here is for $949 right now. Uh, now this is a 15 inch, so a little bit of a bigger monitor. I like this one a lot. Uh, and this one's really lightweight, really good all day carry, and amazing, amazing battery life. I can't recommend these Snapdragon processors enough if you just need general productivity, work, school, office, whatever you need, you've got you covered there. Uh, actually, my wife just bought one of these, but she bought the 13.8 inch version, but she loves that thing. Now, another good option is the HP Omnibook 7 Flip. This is the 16 inch uh, laptop. This has an Intel Core Ultra 7 256B, 16 gigabytes of LP DDR5X memory as well, and another one terabyte SSD. This is a 3K 16 inch OLED panel at 899. So that's actually really, really good. If you're looking for just a general all day carry general use productivity laptop we have a wide range to select from so definitely stop on by micro center and check it out but if you're looking for something for gaming we do have plenty of options available for instance on the more budget end we have this hp victus 15. this one's really good because this has an amd ryzen ai 7 350 16 gigabytes of ddr5 memory and an nvidia rtx 5060. so with that full hd ips panel that's actually a pretty good combo. I mean, 5060 with at 1080, that's actually gonna do you pretty well, 899. That's a pretty good ga like budget gaming laptop. I like that a lot. HP Omen 16 Slim, stepping up a little bit. So you have that Intel Core Ultra 7 255H, 32 gigabytes of DDR5 memory, and an NVIDIA GeForce RTX 5070. So that's gonna get you a little bit more VRAM. This one's pretty nice. Once you go up from there, you have the Lenovo Legion Pro 7. We talked about this one in another video, and this is actually a pretty good deal. I like this one a lot. This is the Intel Core Ultra 9 275HX, 
32 gigabytes DDR5 memory, and an NVIDIA GeForce RTX 5070 Ti. So a little bit more VRAM on this guy. So each one kind of incrementally just gets a little bit better. So depending on your budget, we have a wide selection of really, really good gaming laptops to choose from. And on the absolute high end, we have some of the best gaming laptops with 5090s. For instance, we have the Dell Alienware 18 Area 51. This one has a 5090. We also have the Asus ROG Strix Scar 18. We did a video about that. This one also has a 5090. Or you can go with the MSI Titan 18 HX AI also has a 5090. Now we've actually tested all three of those and we've done videos about those. So you can check them out on our YouTube channel. They are really good premium gaming laptops. If you're really looking for a gaming laptop that can do it all, not just gaming, 3D design, video editing, it can handle everything that you throw at it. These are definitely the ones to take a look at. So make sure you check those out. Now on the desktop realm, again, if you're not looking to build something yourself, if you really just wanna walk home, straight out of the box, get it set up and start using it right away. We have a wide variety of options. Obviously our PowerSpec PCs, those are always gonna be really great options. Now, PowerSpec G725, really good gaming PC right there, cause that's gonna be your AMD Ryzen 7 7700X, 32 gigabytes of memory, and then an NVIDIA GeForce RTX 5060 Ti. 1399. So that's actually a really, really good combo at that price point. Then you can step up a little bit. You can go to the PowerSpec G756. So this comes with the AMD Ryzen 7 9800X3D, fantastic gaming CPU, and that's paired off with an NVIDIA GeForce RTX 5070 Ti. That's actually a really, really good combo. Again, 32 gigabytes of DDR5 memory at 1999. So you're actually walking away with a really, really good performer right there and it also has Windows 11 Pro. Keep in mind, all of these devices already have Windows 11, so that's gonna take care of that Windows 10 end of service issue. Don't have to worry about that. We have a lot of other pre-built options available like this MSI Codex Z2, this one's really good, AMD Ryzen 7 8700F with an NVIDIA GeForce RTX 5070, 1599 for that guy, or you can step up to the MSI Vision ZS. This is an AMD Ryzen 9 9900X, 64 gigabytes of DDR5 memory, and an NVIDIA GeForce RTX 5070 Ti. So that's available for $2399, but that 9900X, you're gonna get some extra cores and some extra threads there. So that's actually gonna be pretty good for more general use, not just for gaming. This is a pretty good, well-rounded device. Also, two terabyte SSD. That's actually really important. You need more space, not just for your applications, but for all of those games. Now, outside of all this, there's a lot of other things to take into consideration when you come to Micro Center. So whether you're looking to build your PC, whether you're looking to just walk away with a laptop, a desktop, or if you just need help figuring out if your device can run Windows 11, we can take care of all of that for you. So make sure you stop on by, talk to one of our knowledgeable associates, and they'll help you out. And remember, if you don't have a micro center near you, then be sure to comment hashtag I want a micro center near me.